If the kitchen's where you'd rather have your friends and family gather, you should hit the like and subscribe down below. And if filling plates and platters while maintaining flavor matters, then there's a stellar cook that you should know. It's rain, the planet with a pilot. They'll keep you fed and coming back for more. So come on, take up space. Rain will make a tasty plate. And tell the diet Karen's where to go. It's the planet where the pilot cook can show. Howdy y'all. So I am taking a bit of your advice from this last week, by the way. Hello, red hair. Do you like it? Um, <laughs> and I am going to just, I ordered some food and we're going to talk and have a nice chat while we mukbang. Yeah. All right. I'm very excited about this. I got the two for 25 dinner deal. So I have basically have two dinners and a Oh my gosh, it all looks so good. I don't even know where to begin. So I got a steak with mashed potatoes and broccoli. And I got um, the chicken penne pasta thing. Never had it before. Why not? Give it a go. And for my appetizer, I got chips. Ha 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 and dip and I make this dip actually I should make this sometime for y'all um mm. I make a spinach artichoke dip super easy so good mm. this one has a lot of parmesan in it love that it's basically got a whole crust of like shredded parmesan on top mm. mm-hmm thick shredded parmesan which we love my special brew cup it's lost some letters but it's still really cute dyeing my hair red really has me reflecting on like parts of my life in a weird sort of way because the last time I had my hair this fire engine red like this I was in my 20s so every time I look in the mirror now I feel like I'm seeing some and I had my hair this color red for like years in my 20s. I had a mohawk. <laughs> it was tall too. And I could make it. I would do like Liberty Spikes. And I kept every other one was my actual natural hair color. Which is basically black. And uh, well black and gray now. Because <laughs> I'm getting old. Um, and every other spike was bright red like this. And then I just had it plain just red for a while. So every time I look in the mirror now, I'm seeing some weird sort of mashup version between my 23-year-old self and my 43-year-old self. Mm. I've been reflecting a lot on my life, like in general. I don't know um, if you've been following any of my... Mm tarot stuff but there's something called there's a tarot card called the wheel of fortune and it's all about just like the cycles in life and I've been thinking a lot about that anyways because my friend star well a few of my friends passed away last year three of them actually and um, <laughs> and my friend star and I had been friends for 20 years. <laughs> I'm excited to have an opportunity to talk about this actually. Star was an incredible person. He was troubled, but really 
loving and open and he stood up for people and he was kind of a beacon of light in our community in the queer community in the fat community in the trans community he was just a wonderful person and i'm very lucky that he was a part of my life for so long um but I've been thinking about these different versions of ourself that we go through, you know, like throughout life. Because I knew so many different versions of Star. I mean, when Star and I first met, we were just little baby gays. <laughs> we were in our 20s. And our first meetup was also our first date. It was an amazing first date, too. It really was. It was one of the best first dates I've ever had. Um, we went to a drive-in theater, which I'd never been to a drive-in theater before. So that was really cool. Mmm. Okay. Losing pasta on myself. <laughs> I'd cry it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm trying to remember if we saw a double feature. No, we saw the hills have eyes. I think. The new one, I believe. Yes, that's what we watched. Um, then we went back to his place. And we smoked Tuca together. It was incredible. It was really fun. Also, my first time ever smoking Tuca. Had a lot of firsts with him. Because... <clears throat> He was such an adventurous person like me. And because, like I said, we knew each other since we were in our early 20s. So, our first date lasted three days. <laughs> um, we didn't even kiss. Like I said, we were just little baby gays. It was a real... It was a real lesbian romance because this was, you know, back before either one of us realized that we were non-binary. Um, yeah. And he was, wow. He was so cool. We had so much fun. Um, but yeah, I've just been thinking about all the different versions of him that I knew and all the different versions of me that he knew. I bet he'd be very amused by this red hair. Because I definitely had it like this for several years. During, around the time we first um, became friends. Alright. Gotta get in a steak. Okay, I did ask for a medium rare. Looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yummy. Listen, I'm a big fan of a smorgasbord kind of situation. Give me all the foods. There we go. Give you a view of the good stuff, yeah? Oh my gosh. This is good stuff, too. Mm. This bechamel sauce. on this pasta it's a little weak it needs more salt it needs some pepper it needs some parmesan it really just needs more flavor everything else though on point um 
So yeah, while I've been thinking about versions of ourselves, I've been thinking a lot about myself and what I want my next version to be because a lot of cycles and chapters in my life seem to be closing out. You know, I lost some friends. My cat passed. It just seems like the turning of the wheel, you know? And that's what started me on my journey of reading tarot cards for y'all. So my history with this is my mom's a witch. Um, and so am I, and so is my sister, her family of witches. Um, my mom got into witchcraft back in the 90s, you know, when all the people were doing all the things. Mm. And I've always been interested in it. But wasn't really my thing, you know. Until I got older. And then, I don't know. It just kind of made sense to me. You know. I'm very clear about using the word witch. I like using the word witch. I know it freaks a lot of people out. But I don't do it to freak people out. I do it because... The only reason that it freaks people out is because it's had such a horrible stigma against it. I mean, first of all, the witch trials and all of those things, when they started saying that, you know, witches were doing evil things and harming people, all nonsense. That was all just a way to keep women in line. And it was definitely like a backlash against any women who were like going against the patriarchal system of the time. So, yeah. Mm. I realize it might be more like PC or acceptable or whatever to be like, yes, I'm just a tarot reader or yes, I'm just a spiritual person. I'm both of those things. But I'm also a witch. It's a title I own and I'm proud of. Mm. This is so good. Definitely my favorite things are the meat. <laughs> the meat. The meat. The steak. I love a steak. That's the Texan in me right there. Yeah, so weirdly enough, you know, I live in Florida now. And when I met Star, we lived, both lived in Texas. But he was from Florida. That's where his family was from. So, yeah. Then years later, I ended up moving to Florida. He actually ended up moving here, moving back here. So we were friends and lived together in two different states. Really, we were more than friends, too, though. We kind of had an on and off again thing for, like, our whole friendship, whole relationship. We could never really get our timing right. I did love him very, very much. Mm. This is bomb. I like having little chats with y'all like this. So... 
the next version of myself. What do I want it to be? I don't know. Part of me wants to move out of this house. I love my house. Don't get me wrong. My landlord leaves something to be desired. <laughs> um... And it needs a lot of repairs and the constant, you know, water heater breaking, uh, AC leaking, and not having an oven, and all the things. It's kind of put a lot of unnecessary stress on me, especially since I'm disabled and when these things happen. It's not super easy for me to deal with them. Um, I don't know. I'm going to Europe in the fall to finally have my honeymoon with my honey. And I'm like, do I want to stay in Florida? Do I want to go somewhere new? I don't know. What I do know is the wheel is turning. I'm hoping this wheel turn takes me out of my current job. My current full-time job. Not that I dislike it. I mean, it's given me a lot. It's given me the opportunity to um, set my own schedule, my own hours, be with my kids, deal with their, you know, support needs and stuff like that. Um, so I value that. And I've had 20 years doing what I do, which for those of you who don't know, I work in adult entertainment, um, but I'm ready to, I'm burnt out. <laughs> it's a hard industry and mm, yeah, I'm just ready to move on to the next thing. I hope that next thing can be creating cool content for all of y'all. It's really good. But I'm getting full. I think I'm going to finish this steak and this breadstick. I'm going to put this broccoli into these noodles. Keep that for tomorrow. Oh. Making a mess. Making a mess. Mm. I do love steak. Mmm. What kind of brew is in my witch's cup, you ask? <laughs> um, I'm actually drinking blackberry sage tea from Publix. So good. I don't know how much of y'all know about Florida or Floridians, but we do love Publix. It's a grocery store here and it's kind of like a higher end grocery store. Like, just think it's always very clean. It's kind of like a, 
like a Tom Thumb or something. I don't know. That's what I would compare it to in Texas. But that was Texas years ago. I don't even know what Tom Thumb's like now. But it's a nice grocery store. And they make a lot of products and stuff in-house. So they have all kinds of cool stuff like blackberry sage tea and chicken salads. Right. Lots of prepared foods. They have an awesome deli where people get subs, pub subs is a huge thing here. Mm. I love a pub sub. Maybe we'll do that next time I'm not cooking. Mm. I do. I really love a pub sub. It's delicious. Mm. Yeah, I went to Publix this week because I had to get a COVID shot. Um, since I don't have a van that I can like load my scooter up into or whatever, I needed to go somewhere where I wouldn't have to walk. I am getting a manual wheelchair soon because I'm going to need it for my trip. That will open up possibilities of going more places for me. Mm, I'm excited about that. I'm a very adventurous person. And due to my disabilities, I've been spending a lot of time at home. Which I don't mind. Um, you know, I've gotten older and I like my space. I've made my space really cute and fun and very me. Mm. But... Even though I don't mind being at home, I would like to have the option to go do stuff, you know? So I have a friend that I just made recently who's apparently really into concert going. Well, I love that because I am a huge concert freak. I haven't been to a concert things before COVID unfortunately and the last concert I went to was before she was cancelled but it was Lizzo mm. talk about what a disappointing situation that one was y'all know I was a music lover and a body positive person who's plus size. I loved Lizzo. Mm. Honestly, I don't know if I've been as disappointed since Millie Vanilli. <laughs> When I was a little kid, I loved Millie Vanilli so much. Um, when my cousin told me that they were lip syncing and the whole thing, oh my gosh, I cried. I cried a lot as a kid. I was a very emotional child. I mean, I guess I still am. It's just I have my emotions better regulated now. I've done a lot of work in therapy. All right. Whew. Well, that was quite filling. Thanks for joining me, y'all. But before I go, you know I got one thing left to do. I got to shout out my Planetary of the Week. So, Maggie J 55 you are the Planetary of the Week. You left me a very hilarious comment, which I just saw today. And it said, I don't care if you... <laughs> Sorry, it made me laugh all over again. 
It said, I don't care if you're cooking dog biscuits or telling scary stories. I'm going to support you. So thank you, Maggie. Uh, that really made my day. What a great comment. And now I kind of want to do a video cooking dog biscuits. Not that I have a dog. And uh, I also kind of want to do a video telling scary stories. You know, Halloween's not that far off. I'm always counting down to Halloween, though. Let's be real. I love Halloween. It's it's the witchy thing, right? But it's also just, I love horror movies and stuff. I just love Halloween. I love an opportunity to dress up. Me and Arthur always have a blast on Halloween. We always dress super cute. Like, last year, we were dinosaurs. The year before that, he was a chicken and I was a pig. And we were just, like, so cute and wholesome. Um, Yeah. So I love Halloween and I might tell scary stories on Halloween. I'm thinking about it. I really am. All right. So I hope y'all have a great week. Thanks for spending me your Sunday with me, even though I did not cook this time. I am going to kind of incorporate more talking and eating videos like this along with cooking because I think it gives me an opportunity to still make videos for y'all even when I don't have the spoons to cook. So um, since you have suggested it and that's something that y'all all, all want to see, I will continue to do so. I will also still be putting up, it's going to start being twice a day, but I'm going to start putting up more tarot videos and all that kind of stuff. So stick around if you're into the witchy stuff, stick around if you're into the foodie stuff, because I can do both. <laughs> all right. I love y'all. Thank you so much for being here and hope you have a great week. It's the planet with a palate cooking show.